in the theme of hero ingredients, we're going to make one for desserts. Spiced Dolce de Leche with one basic simple ingredient, condensed milk. We're gonna make this a couple of different ways and test out which one works best. I also want to make several different flavors. Dolce de Leche is a super simple thing to make, even though it sounds super fancy. We're going to make two different kinds of Dolce de Leche, two different ways, and see which turns out best. Then I wanna show you a variety of things that you can pair it with to really impress your friends. Dolce de Leche comes from one ingredient, caramelized condensed milk. I've prepared here a pot that we're gonna set to boil and then turn to a simmer and heated the oven to about 218 degrees Celsius or I think 475 Fahrenheit and put the rack in the middle. In the oven, we're gonna pour the Dolce de Leche into a baking dish, um, as deep dish as you've got. And this one I'm gonna mix with cardamom pods. Then we're gonna put this in a water bath and check on it, but cook it for about three hours. Same goes for the pot. We don't even have to open the can to do this one. It's gonna be immersed in simmering water for three hours. Ooh, if you want a nice, dark, burnt caramel. Afterwards, we're gonna pop this, taste it, and then add some vanilla and chili. Can opener. I used to have terrible trouble with can openers, because I'm left-handed. Finally, I've mastered it. Condensed milk is pretty sickly sweet, but it's used to make some of my favorite desserts, including Florida Key Lime Pie and Tres Leches Cake. And of course, Dolce de Leche. I'm gonna go with two cans. Go this one. I've got here some green cardamom, uh, some black cardamom, and some cinnamon sticks. I want to figure out which cardamom to use. These are kind of smoky. I don't know about that. Ooh, definitely green. This is like quite earthy, smoky, much more savory than um, this spicy fragrance. So, okay, I'm gonna go with green. I'm going to just kind of embed the cinnamon sticks and the pods. I'm gonna mix it as well to distribute the flavor. And then we'll pop it in the oven and wait. Now this needs a water bath. We want it to be pretty fully immersed up to the rim. Our oven is ready. Don't come down here with me. Our oven is really dirty and I don't want you to see. But I'm putting this on the cent mid middle shelf. And now we're gonna put a timer on. Our water is boiling. We're gonna turn it down to a simmer and with great care not to burn our hands. We're gonna make sure this is totally immersed. This is a problem. Okay, I need a new pot. And now we wait three hours. Checking back to make sure that the water is always covering the can. And if it's not, we will need to add more boiling water. See you in three. So it's the next day. We did not have time to unveil this Dolce de Leche yesterday, but it cooked for three hours. <laughs> Cook the label right off. Yesterday, at a low simmer, 
And now this should be pretty dark caramel. <laughs> so let's see how we did. I hope this is not an unwelcome surprise. <gasps> oh my God, it's so pretty. Look at that. Okay, look, that is super creamy. That tastes like caramel. It's really good. This one is so much more um, caramelized. <laughs> it's like got a burnt sugar vibe. Let's see how well we can blend ingredients now after the fact to infuse this. But as far as the dolce leche itself, this is definitely the best version. We are back here. It's another day. I want to show you the results of our dolce de leche experiments last week. And I want to try one more methodology. And then, and then I want to show you some delicious things to pair this, to, to pair this with. It has been a pretty difficult week for me. And, you know, I think I need, this video is gonna be a no frills, hang in the kitchen and cook kind of thing. I wanna make one more flavor and method of Dolce de Leche. We've got so far two very different outcomes. This is the super caramelized, plain dolce de leche that we got from steeping a full can unopened of condensed milk. And this version, which you can see is a very different texture. Let me show you on the bottom. This one is much more like sticky, hard caramel. And this is much more liquid syrupy. This has the cardamom and cinnamon pods inside. In my opinion, this is a better consistency because it's a little bit more robust, um, smoother, less chunky, but this is much too thick now to mix in a flavor. So I want to make a hybrid today and we're gonna pour out a can of condensed milk into one of these jars, where I will then mix some vanilla and cayenne, and we'll seal it up and go the method of deep simmering for three hours in a pot. And I think that might give us the best consistency, but flavor. So, let's, shall we do it? I'm gonna let that boil. We're gonna fill about three quarters of a tablespoon of vanilla. And not too much probably one teaspoon of cayenne. Now I'm going to stir. Ready to go in the pot. Here's something else I've done that we can concentrate on in the meantime. I've put some vanilla ice cream in the fridge to soften up. And I'm going to take our regular Dr. Gileche and pop this in another small pot of boiling water to just soften this up. And we're gonna mix them in a baking tray and refreeze for Dolce de Leche ice cream. Made so, so easy. I'm gonna pop this in now to soften up. Add a little bit more water. Hello, Georgina. 
Chocolate or ice cream? Bargain dogs, plain vanilla. You can use any kind. Just a little bit squishy. And now we're gonna go a full cold stone creamery on this mixture. That is just absolutely delicious. We're gonna put it right back in the ice cream box. Right back in the freezer. Now that this pot is boiling, we're going to fully submerge our jar for three hours. It has been two hours. It's got one more hour to go. Okay. Excuse Theo. It's basically 4.30. This has been steeping uh, or simmering for three hours. And check it out. It's perfect. Jiggly, super dark. Look at all that cayenne. Let's taste it. I, I think I'm gonna be proud of this one. Oh, that flavor is really good. This works really, really well. Let's taste test this on something super simple. You're not even gonna believe it. A banana. Dolce de leche with, with cayenne pepper and vanilla extract. This is like quietly decadent. It's really quite spicy. <laughs> you could even make some whipped cream without any sugar added. Put this together in a bowl, like a little trifle bowl. with just a pinch of cayenne pepper and sea salt. That is delightful. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna bake a super simple cake. I'll share the recipe with you. I'm gonna find it on the internet. I wanna find something that has a really low sugar content because the dolce de leche is so sweet. And we're back. We've got our cake here. No, it is not another day. I merely spilled cake powder all over my last top. We have got a very light, spongy, fluffy, and not very sweet cake, <laughs> vanilla cake. And I think it's going to be the perfect base for the Dolce de Leche. Here we have it our Dolce de Leche sponge cake. <laughs> Perfect amount of sweetness. Because the cake is so simple and plain, you can really taste the cinnamon and cardamom in the Dolce de Leche, which is amazing. Delightful serve. I'm totally gonna do this again. <laughs> But for now, in all honesty, I've made myself completely sick on Dolce de Leche, and I need a cleanse. Thank you for your patience with me this week, and see you next.